Crypto bubbles look so juicy. You can see clearly that there are some projects that are doing so well at this point in time. Today, I want us to look at this, you know, how you can, you know, take advantage of crypto bubbles, like what you're seeing on the chart to help you in your trading journey. Crypto bubbles is a free tool. And I want you guys to be able to understand how to use this free tool to trade Bitcoin and any other altcoins out there. And also, and also how you can use this to maximize your profit, make profit, looking at the Crypto Bubbles platform. This is a free platform, a platform for you to Take advantage of. If you are new here on my platform, you are watching The Returns Crypto. Yeah, I'm all about creating content that will help you make better decisions investing in cryptocurrency. I help you with market structure. I help you with areas where you should stay away from the market, areas where you should be buying, and areas where you should just, you know, enjoy the ride. And I'm doing this because. I have been a victim. Did I say victim? Well, I mean, it's like a crime. You know, I've been I've been through this experience. You know, I've gone through this and I have experience in this. And I think that it's my duty to help people out there who are willing to learn on how to make, you know, money or take the most, take the make the most out of this, you know, brutal crypto market. Those who are part of my community, or those who have been following me, following me for a long time now, they can testify that my content has really helped them to navigate this crypto space, eliminate most of the noise out there. You know, most people out there who create content, they just want to, you know, create content based on what the thing is 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 okay, but they don't create content based on what actually it's going to be working for you you know based on your experience in the industry and i know that this is not something which is easy it's not easy it's a process that needs um time for you to understand you know that's why i don't want to be uh, you know be so hard on you guys i want you guys to take it gradually to learn the process you know when you learn the process you can easily build build from scratch and i'm gonna be there with you to help you throughout the process so if say you are new here and you really want to be part of my community this life changing or game changing community then you feel free to subscribe to my platform thumbs up like thumbs up is free you know it won't cost you anything and share my content with someone else out there haven't said that guys let's just dive right away into the juicy part of um today's show this is actually crypto bubbles and i'm gonna always want to educate you guys on how to use this free tool now look at this platform like Bome is up 13 percent, and these guys these are the top um 200 coins but let me just go to the top 100 coins so we can see you know i always begin with the top 100 coins to see which ones are doing well so looking at this level right now you can see that um yasmin mkio cfx icp axl ron srop sweet L lido cas filecoin zbu you know s and x they are doing well right and you can also see that for the day coins like renda akt tau floki you know agix they are not doing well so what you have to do is click on that the coins that are doing well for example let's begin with um uh, icp now you can see that icp for the month icp is down eight percent for the week, ICP is down 5%. For the day, ICP is up 9%. And for the hour, ICP is up 3%. It means that there is some sort of momentum with ICP. And you can see, look at the volume. The volume is now at 200 million. You know, so there should be more upside. So, you know, you can now go to um, the chart of ICP. Let's just go straight away to the chart of ICP. You know, I want to come back to Bitcoin. Let's go to the chart of ICP. 
and check what ICP is doing right now. So you can see that ICP actually, the upside looking at the four hours time frame, has been in the downtrend for a long time now after ICP get to, uh, got to $17. ICP have gone right down to $10 during this dip, meaning this is a total reset of ICP. So if you are buying ICP right now, you are rest assured that ICP does not get to at least, you know, $15. Or oh, yeah, I think $15 because when you see here where the alpha trend printed this, this sell signal here, that is the area where I think ICP is going to go to $15. So you have to understand, if you're buying ICP right now, like one, you can make up to $3 profit, you know, depending on how much you have. If so you're going to buy it for, for $100, you know, then that's the area where you want to look at to take out profit, right? So looking at this platform alone, crypto bubbles, you can easily see, like, look at the performance of what this coin has done. And also, this, in, this is going to be in correlation to what Bitcoin is doing. You know, of course, at times, ICP pumped and Bitcoin doesn't pump, you know, and it's because of the fact that ICP hasn't been pumping while Bitcoin was pumping. So when Bitcoin has pumped and now Bitcoin is retraced back to a certain level, ICP has to take charge. When you look at a coin also like Yasmin, you can see, okay, before it was 9%, you can see already it's 10%. Look at Yasmin. Yasmin is up for the week, um, 9% for the month, 129% for the day, 12%. Okay, I don't want to go play with Yasmin because I, I can see that Yasmin, everything for the week is is up to, somehow for the month, is up 129%. So even though there might be upside for Yasmin, I don't want to play with Yasmin, you know. Then I can go to the next coin, like for example, coins that are down, like Render. Let's check on Render. You know, you can see that Render for the month is up 77%. For the day, it's up, it's down 10%. For the week, is down 2.9%. And for the year, Render is up 776%. Now, knowing what Render is, I believe that Render always pump when Bitcoin is pumping. And looking at where Render is right now, I think maybe because this coin is down 10%, we might see also under 10% downward. Looking at the fact that the coin has been pumping for the month, it's up 1x. So I don't want to play with this. And now I have a coin here that haven't yet done anything at all or is not showing any, um, like it's down. This is dot. Dot is down. You know, it's just two. 0.5%, meaning there might be an upside for DOT. So I click on DOT now to see, oh, wow. For the month, DOT is up just 16%. And for the week, DOT is, uh, is down 16%. For the day, is down 2.5%. And for the hour, is up 30%. So there, there might be an opportunity here yeah, with Polka DOT. Because in uh, for the month, this coin is up only 16%. And for the year, only um like from five fifty one percent not up to one x and looking at where like the rank of this coin which is at the number 13 in the crypto space there should be more upside for this coin so let's go and check on polka dot to see what where price is right now let's go to dot dot let's see where price is right now and where we can expect price to move towards now this is polka dot on the on the four hours time frame, you can see clearly this coin was pumping, you know, and after this um, uh, pump through the to twelve dollars, price has retraced back to the better moving average, and now we expect price, you know, to bounce back and either make higher highs or maybe go back to about eight dollars or I think maybe seven dollars, you know. But when we look at the bigger picture, like the Look at the uh, weekly time frame. You can see that the upside for this coin is amazing. It's great. And I have all the max of areas where you can go and take out profit. You know, if say you see price go there, you can see Polkadot has been, you know, down. And now we are seeing this recovery after this um, bear market dip. You know, now we are, see, we are getting to see price moving to the upside. So we can see more upside for Polkadot. So that's why I had to look at this to see the past performance, you know, for the year, for the month, for the week, so I can decide if, say, I buy pocket dot right now, looking at crypto bubbles, it's going to be a good investment for me, you know, long term, you know, like if, say, um, price have to go 
to those levels, you know. And if we go now to the polka dot and look at this on the daily time frame, we can even see more opportunities here or more market structure, you know, being set up. You can see that um, price is respecting structure here. You know, um, after this pump, price will uh, retrace at this point, you know, and price make higher highs. Now price is back at this area to, you know, which uh, like it has retraced to this zone and this is an area where price break out to the upside and price has came back there giving you opportunity to buy because you miss out the, the breakout and i think that's how you're going to be trading and if you buy here yeah, price get to the better moving average you buy again but i don't think price is going to go there you know i think price is going to stay at a level where price is going to maintain um market structure proper structure so looking at poker dollar right now i would say that Polkadot is a good coin to buy. And again, this is going to be in relation to what Bitcoin is doing. Talking about what Bitcoin is doing, let's dive and see what this bad boy is doing right now. The price of Bitcoin, this is Bitcoin on the daily time frame. And when you look at Bitcoin on the daily time frame, Bitcoin is still in uh, a bullish um, trend, you know. Bitcoin is above this moving averages except for the five day and the uh, and the 13-day EMA, but overall you can see that Bitcoin is still in structure. You know, the, if say we see Bitcoin below fifty thousand dollars, that's when we can say Bitcoin has broken structure. But right now, Bitcoin is above fifty thousand dollars. It means Bitcoin is still in structure. Looking at the alpha trend, you know, this is an area where if Bitcoin break, then we can be worried. You know, so as it stands, they can bring price back to $52,000. But if, say, price go below that level, then you have to be concerned about, um, like, the future of, uh, like, not like the future, but uh, what price can, uh, what price might do, you know, when it comes to other altcoins out there. So looking at now Bitcoin on the four hours time frame, sorry, on the daily time frame, let me see if I bring in the trend below right now. Okay, the trend needle is still going towards the oversold area, meaning we still have downside for Bitcoin. I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now. Oh, we haven't seen the dip yet. Like the dip is all over. But I mentioned to you guys that when you see Bitcoin around six nine thousand dollars, Bitcoin almost hits six nine thousand dollars. But if you see it at that price point, at least take out some profit from your altcoins. Looking at um this indicator right now, the trend dealer, I would say that. Bitcoin hasn't yet gone to the over oversold area. Bitcoin have to go to the oversold area and print this um, green zone here, like what happened, what was you can see here. You have to print it below this zone and form similar structure here before I would say that we're going to keep moving back to the upside. As of now, Bitcoin is in a downtrend. And what you see with those oil coins, gonna, like if you see an oil coin right now pumping, they are going to reset as bitcoin when bitcoin reset um this all coin will reset like other all coins have already resetted like let's see if say quant has resetted you know okay quant already reset you see you know after that we saw this pump here yeah. this pump was ever gonna be um like we're gonna see retracement from this pump because um the tr the trend dealer is still somehow you know like in a danger zone you know, so this is how I go about doing um, myself, using the free tools out there in the market to take advantage of my trades. You know, I don't just go and buy stuff like that, guys. You know, I try to, you know, ha have a thought process to help me go through everything. I can see you, Fidelis. You know, you're watching from Facebook. Why does um, non protocol? keeps dipping buzz i don't know about non-protocol let me check on i don't hold it let me check on non-protocol let me see um let me see what that's done num usdt non-protocol on kucoin let me see oh, of course <clears throat> why are you asking that <laughs> why non-protocol keep dipping look at this look at this this coin has been pumping you know ever since you can see it let's go to the daily time frame to see uh, to the to the five days time frame to see what we got here okay let me see if i can do this so you can see this coin 
you know, has just recovered from this dip, right? And look at the daily time frame. Look at what it has done. Look at the pump. Look at this pump, right? It pumped. So price have to reset somehow. People have to take out profit. You know, people bought this coin with money. And with this pump like that, they had to take out profit. This is the same with what you 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 see here with Bitcoin, you know, on a daily time frame. Look at Bitcoin. People bought Bitcoin, you're gonna ask uh, why is it dumping? People have to take out profit. Those who are in charge, the market makers, they have to make money. That's why you see the price goes up and down. And the ones that are gonna push the price to either direction are gonna be the ones that are gonna be winning in terms of uh, market structure. So if say structure is gonna break, then the bears are gonna take charge. But if say market structure is in place, then the bulls are always gonna be you know in con in control. And looking at norm, come on, you know it's still in an uptrend, right? But it has to retrace back to in like you can see they have it. There's there are these um there, there's two vector candles here that it has to recover and i think it has recovered one and maybe it can even come right down to um 0 0.60 um dollars you know 0 0.006 yeah dollars can come right down there to recover all these vector candles and it wouldn't mean that the coin is in a downtrend no it would mean that the coin is uh, you know has has taken or has retraced to a certain a, a level before it can continue with the move. If you see a coin just keep pumping like that, then you should be scared of that coin. You know, don't just buy a coin, you know, that is always pumping. Buy a coin that respects structure and respect the rules of, of of trading or investment. When you see a pump, there has to be a retracement and price have to, you know, come to a level where, um, you know, people who miss out the pump has to buy and take take price to form under high, then retracement again, move upward. I don't know what this I don't know what this project is all about, but I do know that whatever thing is in the market, they have to go alongside Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin is not doing that well, if Bitcoin is dumping, then these other all coins are gonna dump alongside Bitcoin. So this is what I know on like on how price is moving on or how um like who is in charge in terms of um which cryptos move the market drastically bitcoin moves the market so i want to believe this content is educate educational or educative enough to help you with your investment journey i'm here because you are there i want to help you to be able to build a sustainable investment portfolio, to be able to buy stuff at the right time, look at free tools out there that can really um, make the most out of the market, share it with you for you to take advantage of it. And um, crypto bubbles, you know, coupling with trading view can be a powerful tool for you. So I recommend you always use crypto bubbles and if you don't know or yet have experience in technical analysis there are some stuff i'm gonna share with you i think in my pre in my um, subsequent videos or shows to help you look at it and but you must have at least uh let's say trading view to be able to do this you can get the free version for 30 days and if say you see that is it interests you then you can you know pay for it you know so but you need to be able to you know get this knowledge dedicate time learn you know follow what i do it's gonna help you i don't have to come here always you know to do ta for you right you can do it for yourself but we can come here together and look at it and enjoy ourselves you know saying that okay we did this we did that and it it played to our favor you know it's just going to be more of the community coming together and helping each other to grow but i want you to be able to acquire the skills on your own to be able to look at any project you know out there and say right now i can look at the analysis the performance for the week for the, for the, for the month for the year for the day for the hour I can decide now to see if say, I can buy this coin or not, looking at what Bitcoin is doing. So if, say, you understand what I'm actually trying to convey here to you, then I believe you are going to be successful, great, like, huge in this um, Buddha crypto industry. Having said that, guys, I want to wish you all a good 
um day good evening it's already night here in sweden gothenburg and i want to also believe you are doing well where you are right now see you the next video guys but don't forget to subscribe and be part of my community the links are found below this video have a nice day bye bye